So this video is about pressure drop in a manometer. Giving two fluids, that is mercury, that is two Newtonian fluids. We are talking about mercury and water. And we are supposed to determine the pressure drop between these fluids. How are you going to do it? Please be with me to the end of this video. And at the end of this video, you are going to understand how to determine the pressure drop when two fluids are given to you in a manometer. So now, be with me as we move on with the pressure drop in manometer. And I'm going to explain this in a perfect way for you to understand. So now, we need to analyze this. When a question is given to us for us to find the pressure drop, we need to identify some principle of what? Pressure, as in pressure at the same level or at the same point is equal so you know that this pressure at the same point here and the point here are equal so one let's label this one and this label two so you know that pressure one will be equal to pressure at two this is another principle that we need to do that is pressure at the same level or point are equal this will help us find the pressure difference in these fluids so let's go on so let's watch these fluids we need to analyze something here they gave us the height of this fluid to be h this fluid is fluid b and this is fluid a fluid a is water and fluid b is mercury so now we are supposed to find the pressure drop and what we need here is that we need to identify it and try to bring out the height now they gave us the height of this fluid that's from here to here to be h now we know that Therefore, I'm going to introduce another height from this year to here because there'll be a different height. It's not be the same. So let's name that height to be what? R. So with that, we know that from this pressure, that is this fluid, the pressure of this fluid, or the height of this fluid will be R plus what? H. That will be the pressure, uh, the height of fluid what? That is at point one. This is fluid A. So now, you know that there's a force of that is force A, uh, sorry, pressure at A acting on this fluid. And this is what? Pressure B acting on that fluid. Note that for us to find the pressure here, we know that we have this fluid, this fluid. This is fluid A and this fluid B. We'll see how we can find that. So be with me. Let's move on. So, you know, this is fluid A, as I said, being water. And this is fluid B being mercury. We are going back to the calculation aspect. With the calculation aspect, be with me. From this principle that we developed that 1 is equal to 2, that is point pressure at 1 is equal to pressure at, um, pressure at 1 is equal to what? This pressure at what? 2. It's a principle in what? Pressure. That's, we know that pressure what? Increases with depth and also pressure at the same point are equal. That's different uh, instances, but they have the same, they are on the same level. It means that they are what equal. So based on that application or based on that um, law, we are going to use to find the pressure difference. That means we are going to find the pressure at 1 and we are going to equate it to pressure at what? 2. And that will aid us to find the pressure drop in the fluids, in this fluid. That's the mercury and water, fluid A and fluid B. So let's take pressure at 1. For pressure at 1, we know that we have a pressure acting on it. So we have PA acting on it. Plus, you know that you have something called rho GH to find the pressure of a fluid. So now we know that this pressure will have a rho. And the rho is the density of the fluid. Which fluid is fluid A? That's why we have what? Rho A. Because we are talking about what? Fluid A, which is water. Times the gravity. Gravity is 9.8 meters per second squared. That is a constant given to us. Now we have the height. The height now is r plus what h because you can see from here the height of fluid this is the height of one is what r plus what h that's why we had what r plus h you understand from this height this is pa from here to here the height is r plus h so we have this what height now let's find pressure at two so two we know that with pressure at two when you look we have two different fluids so we need to identify the pressure at the different fluids and sum them Let's go on. So with this, we have a pressure acting on it. So we are finding from here, this side. That is 
equivalent to what? That's the same as what? Fluid A. So we have PB plus rho A. We, we did rho A because the fluid is A. So the density of fluid A times the gravity times what? What to be the height? R. That's why we had what? R here. Now, after we come to fluid B, which is the mercury, now we try finding the pressure at fluid B. Now, with this pressure, we have that it is rho GH. So the rho of what? Fluid, uh, fluid B times the gravity times the height. What to be the height? It's H. Now, after we're getting these two equations, we try what? Equating them. That means that from this principle that we developed that P, that one is equal to two, we are going to what? Equate them to find the pressure drop. So when now when you equate them, you know that we're going to equate one to two or two to one, you're going to get it. So when you equate them, this is a base. That is, this is two is equal to one. We try opening the bracket, right? So when you open the bracket, you're going to get that the same thing over here, and this will open up. So that will be rho A G R plus rho A G H. Now when you look, this is going to take care of this from here. This is going to take off that when you send it to that place. And now for pressure drop, it's difference in pressure, right? So we try making difference in pressure. So if you bring A here and we send this one here, we are going to get what? When you, yeah, from here, when you cancel, you are going to get this. Now we try to find the pressure difference. Now you know that PB minus PA will be equal to what? When you send this one here to be what? Rho A G H minus what? Rho B G H. As you can see. So from here, this is now the pressure drop. The pressure drop we have here is the pressure drop is this PB minus PA. That will give you the pressure drop, right? So you can therefore substitute the GH out. That will be PB minus PA is equal to what? GH bracket open rho A minus what? Rho B. So now this is just the formula. So when they give you a question, you try to what? Analyze. Are you getting it? And bring out this analysis. Always there will be a point. That is, there will be. Some level of point that will be the same because point on the same this one plus the pressure having on the same like pressure at the same what point is what equal. So from here, we know that what you are going to get is this, right? That is the whole idea about pressure drop in a manometer. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope you subscribe to this video. Thank you.